Hi, in this video of C, we will cover bitwise operators. Bitwise operators are the one who directly works on the bits of any particular value. For example, if we have a variable like int a is equal to 12, 13, so by the time you will store the 12, 13, that particular value in a variable, so it will firstly be converted into binary and then it will get stored into the memory. So when I will apply any of the bitwise operator, it will directly work on those binary bits. So for example, here we have 0 and 1, that's the binary value that we have. So P and Q are the two variables which are carrying the bits. So if I will use the AND operator, it will like AND operator in the uh, logical, it will return a 1 only when both are 1. So as here you can see, when both bits are on, both bits are 1, only then it is returning you a 1. Otherwise, in all the situations, it will return a 0. Similarly, this is a bitwise OR, which is again working as same as that of the logical OR operator. That is, it will return a false means 0 only when both are having 0. If any or both are having 1 in it, it will return you the 1. And the last one is the XOR operator using the caret symbol. So the uh, XOR operator will return you a true when any one of the bit is on. For example, when both the bits are 0 or when both the bits are 1, it will return you a 0. But when it will get a combination of 1 and 0, like 0, 1 and 1, 0, it will return you a 1. So apart from these three, we do have some more operators like AND or NOT, it is the complement operator. After that, we have the left shift and right shift operator. So let's have a look how these operators basically works. So here, let's say I have a variable int a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 8. So if I'll convert them in a binary, how will I do that? So here we have the 8 bit means 1 byte. Alright, and we know like it will start from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. That is for the each block. So if I want to put 4 inside this, I will put a 1 here and remaining will be 0. Similarly, if I will create one more bit for the B, I will put a 1 in 8, remaining will be 0. So now, whenever you will perform any operation between A and B, it will be calculated like the uh, particular bits. Like if I will say A and B, so 0 and 0 is 0, again 0 and 0 is 0, 0, right? 1, 0 is 0, 1, 0 is 0 again and then like this. So this is all about when you will do any AND operation. Similarly, if you will do OR operation, you will get 1 in these two. But if I will say something about the shift operators, let's say I want to do A left shift 2. So this one is 2. So when I say left shift 2, that means I will shift the value of this 4 to 2 bits left that is 1, 2 and I will put this 1 over 16. So when I will print the value of A left shift 2, it will bring 16. Similarly, if I will do the right shift operator to 2 bits, again I will shift this 4 into 2 bits right like 1, 2. So it will give you 1 because this 1 will be shifted to the first place. Similarly, you can have the different values inside A and B, but it will give you the similar output. It means in the same way, the uh, value will be calculated. Uh, so let's see practically how to implement these bitwise operators. So now here we can see like I have taken the very same values which I have used in the 
presentation like A is having 4 and B is having 8 and now after that when I'll do the bitwise AND operation along with that the bits of A and B will be calculated. So in the case of bitwise AND when both the bits will be 1 only then the result will be 1 otherwise the result will be 0. So here we can see here in the excel file with the help of excel file like a is 4 so this will be the bit representation of a that is 1 will be having in the fourth position and for b here is 1 where the value will be 8 so you can see like nowhere around we are having 1 in both the bits so the resultant is completely a 0 so in a and b we will get 0 in the output Similarly, if I'll try to get the OR operation between them, then according to OR operator, I'll get a 1 when any one bit is 1 or both bits are 1. So in the case of A or B, I can find 1 in couple of places like in 8 and 4. So when 8 and 4 are 1, so in the output, I will get a 12 right here. Similarly, when I'll say A left shift 2, that means initially, uh, let me put 0 in both the places, right. So initially, the value of A was 4, and as soon as you will uh, shift the bits of A into 4 bits, uh, into 2 bits left, then this 1 will be shifted here, and remaining bits will become a 0. So, now the current value is 16 so here if I'll observe the output will be 16 and when I'll do it in the right shift 2 bits to right shift then again the initial value was 4 when I will shift 2 bits to right in this case a right shift 2 then what will happen it will shift 2 bits to right that is 1 and 2 so it will become 1 and here this will become a 0 so now here I will get 1. And similarly, when I'll go for the A XOR operation, so in XOR operation, the different bits will get 1 and similar bits will get a 0. So here, uh, let me bring it to the actual position, yeah. And now here, you can see in this particular bit, there is a different bit, that is A is 0 and B is 1. And here, again, they have the different values, that is 1, A is 1 and B is 0. So these two places will be having 1 and remaining will be 0. So again, when I will sum it up, 8 plus 4, it is 12. So even in here, I will get a 12. So the output should be like 0, 12, 16, 1, 12. And here you can see 0, 12, 16, 1, and 12. So this is how these bitwise operators actually works.